proper break point and change the fluid. So let's see if we can replicate the system. Sorry, this video is so late, I had some issues, I had to restart the PC, Wi-Fi is cutting in and out right now, so screw all that. So today we are back here, oh, hold up, I'm messing with some stuff on my phone, but we are back here today with Car Mechanic Simulator 2021. I hope you guys have been enjoying the channel content, because I really much have, I mean, I have liked how videos have been turning out, especially the farming ones that is but hopefully you guys enjoyed the little update on the farm and all the other stuff that we're going to be doing coming up here so i thought i'd give you a car mechanic simulator video today but let's get into this video and stop talking about other stuff because i did that a lot on my vlog today well the filters need to replace the air filter fuel filter oil filter all the timing pulleys cannot start the car engine has no power poor poor brake form change the fluid so let's see if we can replicate the system <laughs> Okay, it at least cranks. Let's check. Fuel pump does look brand new, guys, but that doesn't mean it's not suspect. So first thing I'm gonna do is check fuel pressure. It cranks. No need to check. Fuel pressure. test next just out of curiosity because I know the game okay everything looks fine there and uh so next, I'm going to pull out my OBD. Actually, yeah, I forgot this car is too old for an OBD. So next, we'll just do this just because the game wants us to. I'm not going to interfere with the game's process. But I'm going to pull out the multimeter, I believe. Oh, yeah, I said it because I don't want to interfere with the game process. But sorry, guys, I'm freaking tired, but I can't stop now. I wanted to get a YouTube video out with you guys, but it looks like a carburetor issue. Let's try... Just replacing the carb that was stuck. Hmm, didn't check any of the distributor stuff. We'll come back to the distributor in the end. Uh, carb. And fuel. Because we're going to replace the fuel filter while we're already in there. I don't think this was the replaced filter car. I think I may have mixed up my cars and may have just bought my filter. If so, we're just going to use it anyway because I already got one. I mean, why not? Why oh, not? That was actually dirty. So let's see if changing. The, I know the carburetor is bad because we did test it. Okay, so there's still going to be more stuff wrong with it. If you guys know, you know. But filters i still gotta get to the oil filter engine no power poor brake form is that the oil filter is one bad and two we're just gonna start tearing into everything so we have to replace all the timing related parts anyway so why not make that now the belt's good water pump pulley's hurt we have to remove the alternator and the idler come on no easy jobs around this shop i guess Power steering pump. On this also, I thought that was a fuel pump, but I could be wrong. I know these older cars have them on the engine. The water pump was shot. Oh well, I don't care if I'm removing the fuel one or not, honestly. This whole car is about. And I'm plus some bridge right now in the game. I did start this profile from the bottom and work my way up. We're gonna 
gonna say the cam is fine. And we're gonna say the crank is fine. Symbol mode. Some cam gear. Sorry, I'm gonna buy these parts one by one because I don't wanna buy the wrong parts. I did it anyway. I forgot to look for the ending there. Because I'm not used to working on this exact motor in the game. This has got a special water pump. Make sure we put that water pump on. I forgot the pulley. I'm not going to try saving the parts, guys, on a job this small. Nah. Bracket's good. Pump's good. All the idlers are good. So now that we replaced a lot of that, we're about to hop back in and see if we did anything. If not, I'm going to check for spark next. Hopefully, any luck will fire right up. So we're still chasing it down. So like I said, next we're going to take off the plug wires. Those appear to be good. The rotor cap clips. Those clips appear to be fine. That would cause it. Let me just take out the distributor just to be sure but the rotor inside the distributor is bad so let's go to ROTOR. It's not in there anymore I forgot. You got electronic parts. And there it is ignition distributor rotor. It doesn't mean any of our spark plugs could be bad. Which just gonna do a quick visual inspect on them. They all seem good. Throw a clip on there. I do want to check one plug. Two plug. And we got two spark plugs that are bad. Say, let's throw the plug wires on. And let's see if we can get her to make some noise now. There we go. So, guys, we got her to run. Next, we're going to put her on my lift and do the other complaints. So, let's get it on the lift and see what else. I know the hood has to be popped. That's one of the complaints still oil filter and then we got a change brake fluid and washer fluid so we did nothing with the coolant and we got to replace it okay okay game i see you that's a catch so we're just pouring some fluid in there sorry guys this is a quick short sweet to the point video i'm just this is late night and we'll do more on this series most likely if you guys do enjoy it if not i'm probably still gonna do it I haven't played this game in a while, so it's nice to get back into it, especially for the videos, even if so. But yeah, guys, we're going to top off the fluids like they want. This was a quick job. Maybe next job we can restore the fox body in the bay next to me. But who knows? Just like PC Building Simulator, we'll see how these videos do. And I'll go from there because I don't want to bore you guys with any content. But I don't know. I'm doing this for me, not for you guys. I do like, though, sharing my experience with games with people, so that's why I also do it. But I'm not going to play a certain game just to be, you know, the, the best on YouTube. That's just not how I am. I'm going to do this because I personally, you know, enjoy this game. If people don't like it, then they don't have to watch it. But personally, I'm going to do content that brings me happiness. 
or that I enjoy. Because at the end of the day, you know, there's millions of people out here doing this. And, you know, what I like doing is car mechanic, and so be it. What if I want to play this game and, you know, replace people's brakes or, you know, I'm not even replacing the brakes. Yeah, I know we gotta go all the way up to do an oil filter. I don't know why I'm trying to do it low on the ground. Let's sell some of these old parts real quick. It's sweet we got to fire up though. I'm, I'm pumped about that, guys. Really pumped. We'll do the oil filter last as like a oh checklist to make sure we got everything. You know, do the oil filter and then yeah, this is the wheel to break things out. Oh boy, how did I know? brake pad yeah the rotor looks fine because the way it is I've seen bad rotors on this game and that's that's not it because I do have a lot of hours in this game guys I'm not trying to brag or anything I'm just saying somewhere I believe above 100 plus uh, I've played a lot of this off camera so I figured I'd try some on camera for you guys let's see how is removing the drum the shoes are back are good. I like these rims on this car, guys. It makes it more fitting from the air, if I'm going to be honest with you. This would be a good sleeper car, though, if somebody did build it. The drum looks good as always, but we got a shoe and a cylinder, so cylinder, shoe. Let's put a new cylinder on there. Right, shoe. Then the tire, tighten the lug nuts down, and there we go, poor brake performance. Solve, sorry guys, I was tired there, and then just the oil filter. I've already seen it from the top, so I know which oil filter it is, and no, they don't want oil change, just the oil filter replace, which I don't understand that. But you know, I'm getting paid for this job. I don't get to make those big decisions. But, with that being done, let's move the car outside and make sure it still starts. And if it does, let's get this thing out of here. guys so it's still alive so let's get this car back to the customer and there we go made a thousand eight hundred eighty eight so now it's time to show you guys a few things of my personal collection here and a few things that we're gonna do next episode if we do continue this so this is my personal car and that's how it revs I did tint painted it blue did the wheels I did upgrade the brakes I know we can't see them from here but I did drilled and slotted uh, the front, no engine. The reason why I did this car. Sorry guys, it's really tired. The reason why we did this car is because of the front end here. It reminds me a lot of like a Subaru front end. So let's go to the back here. Remove that engine cover. And there is the pretty V6. I painted red, white. Actually, I didn't paint the throttle body or the oil filter coils came red I did paint it blue to match the car did a bunch of upgraded accessories as you guys see here the curl alternator that and the ignition coils came red but I did paint the valve covers and the engine block I thought it turned out really great guys it's got even the built transmission headers it's got all kinds of things and filter but I just painted the block that's how the rest of it turned out no you know no on purpose thing but this car just reminds me a lot of my real life car Colorado plate on the shop car so did the same with the Supra this is kind of how I want a Supra I mean the best of the game's ability because this isn't really a car customization game nice bucket seats <coughs> sorry guys is that kind of night and a 2JZ not the red I wanted to I wanted to match the outside a little bit better but red here red everywhere the red just because the aftermarket parts but I did paint that red don't know I don't think I did the block on this one but I did paint the trans black 
really like how this car turned out. Turned out really good, especially with Papa Hood. And you're like, is that a red valve cover? Yeah. And there's the wing. I love the wing on this car. And let's sit in our nice bucket seats we installed. I just start them and rev them like that. Cause this is a game, guys, not real life. And then, like I was saying earlier, this is the car I want to restore on video if we do. A little four banger. We could we could make some power with it. We could leave it stock. It's an AE86 basically. Only one motor available for this car, guys. So, I mean, we honestly could. Sorry guys, just that time of night, but we honestly could fix it up as is, clean it up and sell it, or I could do a full rebuild on it for you guys, or we could just rebuild the motor, but let me know down below, because I feel like this would make a pretty sweet episode, or let me know if you guys want to see anything else. And with that being said, guys, I'd like to thank every single one of you for watching. Thanks for the support this past week. It's really been a great week. I hope you guys enjoy this new, not really a new game I'm trying, it's more of just a... Uh, getting back into an old game but i hope you guys enjoyed today fixing that car hopefully next video if you guys do enjoy the content i'll probably just do it no matter what restore this car but with that being said guys it is now 109 in real life so i'm probably gonna get out of your hair i got work tomorrow i also gotta finish maybe i'll probably start editing the real life video tomorrow because that's a lot of work i don't want to deal with tonight with that so yeah guys with that being said Okay, you're gone one more time there. Sorry, I'm just super tired. With that being said, guys, thank you for watching today's video. With that being said, I'm going to get out of here before I fall asleep on the video. Thanks for the support. See you next time, guys.